All right, so the audio is good according to uh, according to Jordan. So my brother is just a whiny little bitch. There, there's the intro to the YouTube video. So, um, I apologize that I again failed to make it family friendly. Although I keep promising that I'm gonna try my best to make it family friendly. So. All right, so we're below VWAP on both the ES and the NASDAQ today. I don't think there's any major news coming out in the U.S. today. Uh, if there w was, but probably already came out. I don't really see any extreme reactions here, so uh, I'm going to play it as if there isn't any this morning. I, I don't think I, I looked at it yesterday. I didn't see anything on the calendar for today. Anything on the calendar that would affect me today, I should say. Um, uh, we're in a pretty clear downtrend, I believe. I mean, we did crack these prior. We did crack the prior highs here, so I guess we could say that we're in a short-term uptrend. Um, so I guess we can be a little bit cautious about that, but. Um, like I said, I'm I'm expecting us to continue downward. Just a prediction. Um, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw if we continue downward for the rest of the week, or for longer than that. So, um, just kind of how it's going nowadays. We. Uh, we we got a pretty good pretty good run for about a month there uh, at the you know the latter parts of the summer and uh, all good things do come to an end and it's kind of looking like that might be the case so we're just gonna I mean we're we're looking at it every you know we're looking at five minute intervals so. Really, the long term trend doesn't affect us a ton. I'm just looking at. Really, I just trade whatever's right in front of me, but even what's right in front of me seems like it's probably going to continue downward. So, um, let me go ahead, get all these in here. Monday's value area is it's all right, I guess. Looks like we got value area high sitting at 1370. So. And then we got Friday's value area low sitting down here at 12,920 roughly. So, so it's really, I mean, it's a 150 point range on the NASDAQ. The ES is, what was that, like 50 or 60 to 60 to 30 ish? So, nothing. Nothing too crazy there, but um, we're currently sitting below uh, yesterday's value area low. Um, and that value area low is pretty much sitting right at VWAP as well. So this VWAP trade, uh, if we do get the retest, is probably going to be something that I'm interested in. We'll kind of see how the ES reacts whenever we get whenever we get to that point. But I mean, we're basically already playing it out right now anyway. So we've got basically two two taps just right, just right below VWAP. So oh. Jordan, did you have a good weekend? Oh, well, that's cool. <clears throat> uh, where where did you go camping? Not that I'm even going to know where it is, but, you know. I'm 
determine length of the, yeah more like glamping i i don't know what that means had a camper oh okay oh okay i got you i got you i got you i got you so you kind of cheated the experience a little bit but that's okay i support it um the it's supposed to change right like we don't really have a need for like outdoor tents and shit anymore because we have like campers and trucks and whatnot i don't know <laughs> i'm not much of an outdoorsy kind of person I think you know that. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, that's true. But, you know, I, I don't know. I've read, I read too many articles about people getting attacked by bears and shit whenever, I, whenever they're camping out in the woods. So, like, you know, I just... You know, tents just don't seem like the safest option, I guess, is what I'm getting at, you know? Granted, I guess a bear could probably figure out a way to get into a trailer as well. But, you know, it just seems less likely to me. I don't know. I feel safer. <laughs> Hey, there are bears in Missouri, though. Not too many doesn't mean there aren't any. And if there are some, that means they're there for me. Granted, bears look like... I don't know if it's just me, but every time I see a bear, I think they just look super cuddly and enjoyable to be around, even though I know that, like, I piss them off just a little bit. They'll probably kill me. But they just look super cuddly. Like, I just want to give it a big hug. And I know that that's, I know that would be a mistake, but I just want to do it. It seems so, like something that I would be interested in, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> put, <laughs> put an extra bed in the tent, make the bear your friend. Dude, I want to use the bear as the bed, though. It just looks so soft. And I want it to be cool with that. But then you have, like, you know, the, the classic argument, who would win in a fight, a gorilla or a bear? And I think it's, like, I guess it's like a gorilla versus a grizzly bear, I think more specifically. And I think it's like universally known that I that a that a grizzly bear would very easily win that fight. And I know damn well that I would not win a fight against a gorilla, so what chance do I stand against a grizzly bear kind of thing, you know? But that doesn't change the fact that they look so soft. I know, kind of a weird conversation, but we're going to have to deal with it. 7.50 and I just woke up, so. My, uh, my mind wanders when I sleep, so I wake up with just so many things to talk about, but I don't have anyone to talk about them with, so. You curl up in the fetal position. You'll be safe. Does that actually work? I don't know. Like, I feel like you see, like, those sketches where people do that and it just doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of Jurassic Park. I don't know. I just, I, don't know. I feel like it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, so if I ran into a bear in Missouri, then I'm, I'm kind of screwed. And that isn't, aren't black bears in Missouri? Thirty seconds closing here as well. Kind of interested to see how this closes, but I don't think there's really anything too much to be looking at. So, what am I supposed to do if I see a black bear? Slap it on the ass and run for my life, kind of thing. I don't know. Put your hands up and yell for. <laughs> Gotta fight them. <laughs> I don't. I I don't know how big black bears get. 
I, I always see pictures of like if you see pictures of them, they they never look like they're really that big. Um But like, you know, I, I my only experience wrestling with animals is a little miniature pitcher. Uh and I I, I win every single morning against him. So I feel like if my experience is only fighting like a little ten pound dog then maybe uh, I don't stand much of a chance against a black bear, even if they're not that big. <clears throat> Full disclosure, by the way, I do not, like, hit my dog. We just roughhouse a little bit. I just kind of bully him a little bit, but very friendly. According to Missouri DNR, an adult black bear weighs between 90 and 900 pounds. You know, that's a very big difference there. So you can find, like, little wee man black bear, or you can find one that's 10x his size. <laughs> That's like, that's like Wee Man versus Goliath. Like, it's not even like, <laughs> those are, that's a very wide range there. <laughs> it's like, you can get a, you can fight someone that's my size, or you can fight someone the size of a hippopotamus. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I guess that's more information than I knew. I guess I guess I'll just be hoping I get one of the little ninety ninety pound black bears. But I would uh I would hate it if it was like a situation where I run into a smaller one and then there's a bigger one following behind because I was just bullying a child and uh yeah. So I'm just gonna not mess with bears and I'm gonna stay inside in the comfort of my own house. Doesn't change the fact that they look super adorable, though. Man, oh man. The uh, pre-market price movement is uh, is sick this morning. Super sick. I will say that everything that I'm seeing looks very bearish today, so take that for what it's worth. I mean, pretty much since we hit, pretty much since we hit new highs, everything's been just looking a little bit down, so... Basically, all I'm waiting for right now is a uh, good signal to short the market. That's that's kind of what I'm what I'm waiting on. Um, I don't think I'm really going to be looking for too many long positions today. I think everything's going to be. I, I'm expecting to only be making moves short. That being said, excuse me. That being said, whenever uh, market opens, things can flip on a dime for me. So. Coming up on top of the hour here in 20 seconds or so. It's a good close here. I'm kind of liking how this is looking. I'm 
to go and take the short here. Just a quick little quick move. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait too long on it, but I just like how that I like how that closed. We got the good red engulfing candle there, uh, coming down to these prior lows. Uh, we kind of are sitting in this gap in volume right here, so we're just kind of looking for. I mean, these uh, I, I say this plenty of times. I don't make very uh, very uh, long uh, very long moves, but um, I do like I do like trading the engulfing candles. So yep, and then we're out. So there you go. That was a quick quick uh, 150 bucks right there. Um, Nothing, nothing too crazy. I just, I mean, everything's trending down. Delta's trending down. RSI's trending down. Uh, got green, red, green, red engulfing candles. Short the next candle, and then I'm expecting it to get a quick, quick push through. So that's exactly what we got. So uh, feels good to be on top, I guess. Uh, pretty, pretty quick move though. So those are one of the. And this is one of those things too that I probably could comfortably expand it, expand the take profit a little bit further. Um, but you know, that's not how I do things typically. Yeah, see, like we got a good. I think I put in the order. Yeah, right at nine hundred, so we're thirteen points down from there. So definitely could have gotten more, but you know, like I say, capture portions of the move, not all of the move. So. There will be plenty more of those setups throughout the course of a day. Um, plenty more of those setups throughout the day. And I like to patiently capitalize on just small bits of all of them. So, But I have to get at least one trade in on this... Uh, for the morning video, so. Let's see. So my morning my morning YouTube video is pretty much going to consist of a uh, conversation about camping and bears and one little four point trade at the very end of it. So I think that's a pretty successful video and I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get that one uploaded here soon. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good place to stop the first video.